Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be covering bouncing a sprite off the screen, um, but also using cloning. So what a clone does is it allows us to create multiple versions of the same sprite and have it behave with a similar logic. So you can see here now that we have two bats, and one bat is actually a clone or a duplicate of the other bat. And both bats are moving randomly across the screen. So let's take a look at how to do that by building on our previous example. So you saw in our last example that we created one bat, and that one bat is kind of flew across the screen by itself. But what we'd like to be able to do is have multiple um, bats. And there's several different approaches to, to this. You could create, you could add another bat sprite, but then if you want to add hundreds of bats, then it becomes very complicated. You need to keep adding more and more sprites. Well, luckily, um, we have another way of doing it, which is to create a clone. So a clone is a copy of that sprite. So what we're going to do here is when we, um, when the user clicks on the start flag, we're going to create a copy of ourselves. And then when we start as a clone, um, we're also, uh, is very, starting in a, as a clone is very similar to someone uh, clicking on the start flag. It simply runs this logic when this, the clone is created. Now what we could do is we could um, copy this logic here and duplicate it over. And then if we run the logic, if we run the program, we'll see that now we have two bats, and they're moving randomly. They're kind of stand together a little bit in the beginning, but they're getting slowly far farther and farther apart. Now, if we want to start making changes in this logic, um, it gets complicated because we'll have to change the logic down here and change the logic up here. So instead of doing that, we can create a new block. And we can call this block main loop. And then copy the logic in for both the clone and the main sprite into main loop. And the advantage of doing this is that if we make any changes into main loop, it'll change all the clones as well as the initial sprite so you don't have to copy the logic around. So let's take a look at that. And there you go. Now you've created a, a clone, and the clone's flying around next to the original sprite. Please let me know if you have any questions.